The Hawaiian chieftain is an unusual catch. It has the normal main and mizzen sails, but also has three square sails on the foremast. It was built in 1988 in Hawaii and now spends a lot of time along the west coast. That gave me a chance to board her for a short while and ask one of the crew members how she would secure a line to a belaying pin. Here is Jackie's reply. Uh, all right, so it's left to right, then X's are good, then four is the magic number. So we start at the bottom, going from left around the pin to the right, and then left on top to the right, bottom left to right. You see we've got an X, X's are good. Right. And then left to right, left to right, left to right, X's are good. So we've got three, one, two, three. And then the fourth one, we bring, we bury it under the third, fourth ah. one goes, and then we pull it snug. Oh, you don't use a half hitch on that? We don't, so not on ours here. Okay. Yeah. All right. What, what about coiling it and then laying it around the... Yeah, so coiling it, uh, we start about a foot away from the pin. Uh, I'd like to say with both left, with your left hand first, knuckles facing forward, stretch out with the right, and then pull it around like that so that you have a coil. We say fists always forward because if you go like this, you're going to make a teardrop and teardrops make the bosom cry. So, <laughs> knuckles always facing forward. And the length of those yeah. loops are kind of based on how much space you have down to the deck, yes right? Yes and no. It's also up to the bosun's preference. Oh, all right. So okay. how big I make my coils. Yeah, it's how big the bosun makes his coils. But we do want to try to get them as uniform as we possibly can. All right. And you see that was long, yeah, so I probably... Yeah. I would redo this traditionally. So I didn't do it properly because now I've got this knot hanging down. So I re would redo that, but I won't do it right now. Right. Uh, so you keep everything in the left hand and then you punch through to your right hand, grab this line here, fold those over and then you give it a twist and that's what goes And off slip the it over the tin. There right. you go. You should do a counterpoint. Oh, you give it a twist as well. There you go. So there you go. we'd make sure. I made a small mock-up of a fife rail and attached one small belaying pin. Uh, this dark pin is one I used on a ship model that is 176 of the actual size. I then took a dark line in order to give a little contrast to what I was doing and started the process that Jackie showed about weaving the line back and forth around the pin. I only gave it uh, two turns versus the four she showed because there's not enough room on the top of the pin. I then uh, gave the, the, the thread a little dab of some glue and after that was set uh, I would cut the line. But Jackie also talked about when the line comes down from the right you start on the right. When it comes down from the left you start from the left. I also made the uh, coil using a couple nails, a piece of plastic to prevent the glue from sticking. And as you can see, there's that little loop that I pulled through, just like again that Jackie showed it uh, by pushing her hand through the large loop to grab the standing line, so to speak. Here's what it ended up with. 